What's up, it's Chris Heria. Today I'm gonna to visit my friend, Dr. Jason, that's a chiropractor here in Miami, and he's gonna show us a routine that you can do from home to improve our posture. And let's also see if it will increase our height. I'll see you there. Jason, how are you, my brother? What's up, bro? I came to you today because I know that you're an expert in the spine and posture, and I know you've helped a lot of people here at your office at Rejuve in Brickell, Miami. Can you tell me what causes bad posture? There's three things that cause bad posture, and the first one is trauma. You've probably heard of whiplash, and it's a, what a whiplash is, is a rapid acceleration, deceleration injury. So basically, you're falling down and you your head goes like that, or you hit something, and you don't actually have to hit your head to have a whiplash. You could be twisting on the bars and falling and jerking your body. Bro, wow, so that sounds like it can happen to pretty much anyone, whether you're playing sports or even just having some random accident. Totally, and trauma is unavoidable in a sense because it's always like, ah, oh, it happened, right? Like, there it is, and then you're dealing with it. And the second one is actually just, it's just that, it's bad posture. And you know, sometimes we're sitting down and we just have this like terrible posture, right? We're just sitting there and we're slouching That's over. That's me. Yeah, I saw you, bro. I saw you with the, your Instagram story like this and I was like, oh man. And so bad posture, what happens is our ligaments actually deform after just 11 minutes in a certain position. And the last one is muscle weakness. And that's why I know you can help a lot of people because when the core is weak, they go backwards, which we call a posterior translation or a hyperextension. And then as a result, in order to keep balance, because you can't just do this, otherwise you'd fall over, the head goes forward. And so your, your body is back and your head is forward and you've got this like slouched posture and it's largely due to muscle weakness. What are some of the negative effects caused by bad posture? Oh man, one of the biggest negative effects, Chris, is that it puts a direct tension on your spinal cord. So we're designed to have these normal curves in our spine where your neck is bent like this, your mid back, your thoracic spine is bent like this, and your lower back has the same curve in your neck. So, so it's lordosis, kyphosis, and lordosis. And those are normal, and they're actually supposed to balance each other out. It's literally like taking your jacket here, and it's nice and relaxed, but then somebody grabs it like this, and it pulls it tense like that. And imagine how uncomfortable if somebody just did yeah, this you to you. Attention. Yeah, exactly, and it would be like awkward oh, and weird. And the biggest negative effects we see from the neck are things like headaches, allergies, fatigue, and especially neck pain. From the upper back, a lot of times we see wrist, hand, and finger numbness or pain. And when the posture is like this, we see a lot of symptoms in the hands and tingling, that type of thing. And then in the lower back, because those nerves go to the digestive organs, we oftentimes see things like gas, cramping, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. And then Chris, because of the nerves that come out of the lower back, they go basically everywhere below the belt. And so what's really common is with women, we have a lot of menstrual problems where they have severe, severe cramping. And a lot of women take medicine for their menstrual cramps and they think that that's normal. That's tragic. It is tragic. Sounds like you, you definitely have to be paying attention to the to Posture. Yeah, I mean, your posture, think about it. If you're walking around with this hyperextended lower back for years and years and years, it just wears and tears on the body and the discs and it can cause neurological problems. And it can cause a neurologically mediated erectile dysfunction that just can destroy a man's life. Well, that's enough reason for me alone to improve my posture. Yeah, bro, Straighten up, bro. <laughs> Could bad posture be corrected and avoid all these negative effects? It can, and that's the good news, Chris. We actually can correct bad posture. There's a lot of science behind it now. And what we have to do is we have to change the way your ligaments are holding you. And we can do that through exercise to deform and reform into the correct position that holds them into the right place. And for those people out there that have really severe postural issues, that's when you wanna seek the help of a doctor, for example, that practices chiropractic biophysics and it's been proven that we can change posture in as little as 30 to 40 visits. Can improving your bad posture also increase your height? It can Chris. We actually lose height when we lose our spinal curve and if you combine losing the curves in the spine as well as disc degeneration that's how people really truly shrink and I'm sure you've heard old people say like oh I used to be 5'8", I used to be 5'10", I used to be 6 foot and they're really you know bent over and that's because they have lost the curves, lost the disc height and lost the muscle tone to even give them hope of holding themselves into the correct position. So we have to start with the muscle tone and teaching people the right muscles to activate in the right areas so that they can avoid disc degeneration and maintain their spinal curves. So not only are you losing height, having bad posture, you're actually draining your energy. That makes a lot of sense because even when you're in a handstand, if you're the more stacked you are, the less energy you use. So the routine that you're gonna be showing us today has us covered on all of that. It has you covered on all of that. We're gonna look at the neck, the upper back, 
and the abs and the lower back muscles. As well as the hamstrings and the glutes, it can all be done from home in just a matter of a few minutes. Well, I'm excited to get into this routine. How about before we get into this routine, we check my height? Yeah, let's do it. Actually improve my height. I've got a little confession to make, Chris. What's up? I even Googled how tall is Chris Harry before. Oh man, how, how tall did it say? 5'11". <laughs> well, that's what it says on my driver's license. That's what they tell me at the doctor's office, but um, we're gonna confirm it on this vlog right here. Five, ten and a half. Go right. do that routine and we're gonna- Let's go. We're, let's we're gonna go. run this back. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is have you lay face down and we're gonna work Superman's or back extension. So as Chris is doing this, you can see that he's holding his thumbs up and by doing that, he's holding his arms into external rotation. So with this exercise, when his neck comes into extension, we're specifically engaging the cervical spine and this area is most commonly affected from looking at the computer or down at the phone. And here, this is the thoracic spine. We're specifically engaging the extensors and this is helping to counteract poor posture, slouching forward from sitting on the couch, sitting at a desk, or looking at your phone all day. Now this one is for a muscle called the longus coli, and almost nobody knows this exercise. It's kind of like a chiropractic secret. So what you're gonna do is tuck your chin in as far as you can, like so. So it's gonna feel really strange, like you have no chin, right? So tuck it in all the way. Use your hands even to push it in. With this exercise, we're specifically working the neck, the cervical spine, and we're specifically engaging the longus coli muscles, which are deep down in the cervical spine. And although he's looking forward, we're actually counteracting, staring down all the time because we're strengthening the deep muscle that's holding his neck into the right place. So that would be the wrong way to do it. His jaw and his neck are actually protruding forward and that's basically proliferating a bad posture. So the next position, Chris, is it's the classic hollow hold, but we want to give some regression. So what I always do with my patients is I put my hand under the low back and I want to see if I can slide it there. And if I can, they're not doing it correctly. So I need you to put your back to the ground so I can't get my hand under there at all. And this is specifically for the lower back, especially those L5, S1 nerves where people can have like digestive or reproductive issues. And if you sit all day or drive all day, this will help to reverse the effects of those. So Chris, I'm going to show you one more exercise for the neck since you're in this position already before we move on to the hamstrings and glutes. So you're gonna arch your neck back and you're gonna use your elbows to push into the mat. That way you don't strain your neck. And I want you to lift your chest off of the mat. And then now what you can do is if you're able to, you can take your elbows out of the picture, put your arms here, and you're just oh. supporting the back of your neck. Yeah, they do this in wrestling. Yeah, exactly. So now what you're doing is you're working specifically the cervical spine and the posterior neck extensors that hold us upright. And so this is a more advanced bridge and this is something that we typically will give to football players, wrestlers, and fighters. And so we're like, I do these for jujitsu, same thing. And so this is when somebody's basically bored of doing it the way that we taught, they would step it up and go. Right, or when they can handle it really. Exactly. So now we're gonna move on to the hamstrings and glutes. You ready? Yep. Let's go. You probably know this, it's known as a glute bridge, but what we're gonna do, you, we're gonna use sliders and what I really love is that Chris already knows to keep his core really flat and so exactly and so what he's doing by keeping his head down is he's basically activating his entire posterior chain which are his neck extensors his mid back spinalis muscles his lower back and his abs and his hamstrings and his glutes so if you can just do three sets of five of this that would be a great level to begin with and if you can work your way up to three sets of ten you're already kicking butt all right, Chris, you killed that, so I got one more for you. All right, let's do it. All right, come on up, man. All right, Whatever so it takes, man. I want yeah, to <laughs> that's it, bro, let's go. Okay, so put your feet all the way against the wall, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to flatten out and do a hollow hold against the wall, but you're also gonna get your upper back against the wall, and then you've gotta get your head against the wall, too. Exactly, so this is the reverse, where before we were tucking in our chin to go forward, now we're tucking in our chin to go back. And by doing this, what you're doing is you're activating every single posterior muscle, which are the muscles in the back of our body. And as you can see, Chris is really jacked, but it comes out even more when he's in this position. And you notice he's actually shaking on this yeah. one because he's pushing really hard. He really wants that extra half an inch. Yeah, you guys have to inch. try this. Yeah, and, and if you hold this, I would say like 15 seconds times three, you will not believe how tired you'll be. All right. So now it's the moment of truth. Right. Come on, man, let's do it. I'm gonna be as stacked as possible this time. Dude, if it's big, if it's taller, I'm gonna trip out, man. I'm gonna do this every day. <laughs> You're literally exactly at 5'11". There you go, you see those doctors weren't lying. Hey, <laughs> so, so what that so there says. You go. Yeah, that shows you is like, we're always kind of like hiding our true height. You're always fighting against gravity. And that shows too, because you do work out so hard, man, but I have seen you sometimes slouching a little bit. Right. 
course. You know, I mean, you're human, everybody does. So if you do these exercises, I mean, it's great to be jacked and ripped and, you know, I want to be more like you, man. <laughs> we also have to do these exercises right. though, to keep our spine right. Oh, 100%. Like, oh, we just did that little routine right there. I already feel so much better. I feel like my posture has improved. So Legend when you said that, you do feel it right after. I mean, it's true, you do. Go ahead and give it a try. and. Now that I'm standing taller, hey. I'm also looking taller. Hey, that's it, man. <laughs> and of course, if you do have some real major issues, it's always best, of course, to seek the help of a professional, especially if you could be having something like scoliosis, or you never really know, so yeah. it's always- And just like you've helped me level up my calisthenics and continue to do that. so, of course, man. We want people to avoid pain and just not have to train in pain. Dr. Jason, thank you so much for hooking up all my subscribers with this routine, helping us to have better posture and take advantage of all our height. If you wanna check out more videos from Dr. Jason, he's also a YouTuber with over a million subscribers, check out his YouTube channel, that's youtube.com slash Dr. Jason. I'll definitely be starting and documenting the journey of healing my injury and getting me to perform at my highest level. Yeah, man, we've got work to do. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you next Thursday, 11 a.m., USA Eastern Time. Mad love, and peace out.